are ancient sites such as stone circles and ley lines invisible powers pulsating with a mystical energy that UFOs and their extraterrestrial visitors use to navigate Earth. We know that there are thousands of report and confirmed UFO sightings connected to these sites and areas, and with more and more being witnessed is the energy being used as a way of navigation or a way of connection by the extraterrestrial craft. I believe that they are. Let me use Stonehenge as my first example, Stonehenge on Salisbury Plain took approximately 300 years to build, so it is said, starting around 2000 BC. Why it was built is not really known, but what is undeniable is the fact that it lines up with another five prehistoric and religious landmarks. Stonehenge is part of a 30 kilometers long ley line. Ley lines are invisible alignments of landmarks. Typical features on a ley line include stone circles, standing stones, pagan altars and burial sites. Churches, holy wells, hilltops, cairns can also be points on a ley. The theory of the ley line is that they may have been used as a route laid out by line of sight, but on some type of mystical or magnetic energy areas in pre-bronze and iron ages. These were forgotten in modern times, but the network of lays were accidentally preserved as many medieval churches were built on top of pagan sites, which were monuments on a lay. Stonehenge was built so that at dawn on midsummer morning, the 21st of June, the sun rose over the circle's heel stone. What about Mitchell's fold my second example? Ley lines could be used by extraterrestrial craft to refuel by tapping into them. I believe that extraterrestrial craft and UFOs use electromagnetic energy and gyroscopes to power their craft and to navigate using the Earth's own magnetic fields. They also use ley lines as a point of navigation, which may also suggest that if wormhole-type travel is being used, then they could be linked to the stone circle sites such as the case at Mitchell's Fold in Shropshire. Mitchell's Fold Stone Circle is a location of high UFO activity as well as animal mutilation. The circle is said to date back beyond 3000 BC which means it is far older than Stonehenge. The Stone Circle at Mitchell's Fold lies within the general area of the Montgomery Lay, on the Welsh border. It is one of the less clear-cut lays and the actual exact path cannot be confirmed. However in this area there are numerous stone circles, cairns and standing stones. Over the years there have been sightings of structured disc and triangle-shaped craft as well as one farmer in 2011 reporting that he had encountered reptilian-type extraterrestrials who were more than interested in his sheep during the early hours of the morning. This led to the discovery of a mutilated sheep who had had all its internal organs removed and its tongue cut out by what could only be described as a laser-type device. Again in this case there was the small cricular incision hole towards the hind of the animal but no traces of blood. It is clear that the connection between ancient sites, ley lines and UFOs exists. We just need to understand and confirm why our extraterrestrial visitors really do use them and for what purpose. I am committed to investigating and researching the UFO phenomena, and along with my group UFO Shropshire we strive to provide the public with as much information as we can on this subject. Times are changing and this subject is becoming much bigger with an ever-growing amount of people in search of the truth. The people have a right to know what's really going on regarding extraterrestrials and UFOs and it will only be a matter of time before we as a race move forward and take the next step.